for Iowa, for Penn State, and then uh, for Illinois, uh, Ohio State, and Missouri. Royster out across the 25 to about the top. And Royster. Third down and two. They try with Royster. Nice cutback. Short of the first down. This is the exact reads and taking what the defense gives you. Royster up the middle. Very close to the first down. It looks like he has it. Avon Smith tries to turn the corner. Out to the 31-yard line, and let's check in with Wynn. Fourth down and one. Green right up the middle. He gets shut down. Did not get there. Justin Green brought down Stephon Green. And Illinois turns Penn State over on downs. And Corey legit was right in the middle of things there, pushing this line for Penn State back. He's had an opportunity here to make a couple plays early, and he's their leader. You check these three guys right in the middle. They're going to get push on the inside, and no opportunity for Penn State to convert right there. Again, it's Royster. Maybe a yard to the four. Martez Wilson made the stop. Two more yards for Evan Royster. Martez Wilson brought him down. Stop anybody, Ohio State, Penn State, whoever it is. Bolden under pressure, and the ball pops out. They'll rule that an incomplete pass. Martez Wilson blasted up the middle and buried Rob Bolden before he could get any kind of a throw off. Again, Vic Koning deciding to come with the blitz and pressure Rob Bolden. He's not going to let him stand back there. You're going to see Wilson come screaming off the edge right here. Bolden never saw him, and that is a hard hit there. That is, when you get caught as a quarterback in that position, you don't see him coming. That, that hurts. All right, Wendy, thanks very much. Penn State in trouble at home against Illinois. Bolden up the seam to Brett Brackett. He's got a first down out to the 40-yard line. He's attempted, and they've run the ball well. Flags down at the snap. Stephon Green forward for about three yards, but he basically had it on record. As Newsom goes up the middle for about five more, that the whole coaching staff was...